If you're looking for coins for FIFA 17 Mobile, then you FIFA have got you covered for the previous version and the newer version as well. Use the code TVM to get yourself a discount at the checkout. Link is in the description. Go check them out. What is going on guys, Stephen here, welcome to an action-packed FIFA Mobile episode. Didn't upload one yesterday because I knew I wouldn't have time to do the editing, so I crammed in the time where I could to record, and I have a hell of a lot of footage for you with something pretty spectacular right at the end of the episode as well. So if you are very impatient, then you probably already skipped to, to the end, but uh, if you are patient like me, then you will stick through this six and a half minute video. We managed to do some top transfer live events to get us started here, and I managed to get a 74 rated uh, survey. I actually did that when I was cooking toast. Can you cook toast? Should you just toast toast? I don't know. But um, yeah, that was pretty impressive. I did this game changer thing thinking for some reason it would give me a game changer token. I am about three tokens away or two tokens away from getting myself a game changer pack, which is pretty much a guaranteed game changer player. And I open up the pack to reveal m money, 500 coins. I mean, and I did it again and I did it again and I, uh, <laughs> I, I did it again. And then I thought, you know, one more time, I'll do it again. And then, yeah, so I thought, you know, I'll sod that for a game of Toy Soldiers. Let's just sell these or quick sell these for the for the coin value. I don't know why, it just it, it allows you to store them. Surely it should just allow you to just do it straight away. Um, we got uh, two beginner packs actually sent to us from people in the league. So if you are one of the people who sent me a beginner pack, thank you very much. I mean, I would recommend that you keep your coins because they're three and a half thousand coins a time. But you can gift other people uh, beginner packs, which is basically a... Um, a little thing to get you started. I mean, obviously, I'm more than started. But there is a chance you could get something decent in it. A silver in form or even maybe... I've seen people get gold players in them. So you never know. But uh, thanks to the people who sent me those. Very much appreciated. Those will go into plans in order to get trophies to sell the trophies. Or even do maybe one one or two of the plans. We did a, uh, a cup plan. I got myself a turkey cup, which sold for about 3,500 coins in the end, I think. I'm, I'm currently saving... Uh, what a goal that is, by the way. This is just some attack mode just to get us some more fans because I am slacking on the fans department. I actually slipped below um, 3 million recently, which is like 2.9 million or whatever. Uh, so I haven't slipped be behind that far, but uh, I decided to do some attack mode to try and get myself back on track because obviously at some point we are going to need to do the uh, Mobile Master like fans section of it, which is basically get into the... Um, uh, what is it, the champion section. Now, currently, we're legendary two, and you obviously need to get to legendary one, and then champion is the, is the top half. Then we go into a tournament where we've pretty much beaten our opponents already, but, um, you know, if, if I'm not taking my turns, I'm a bit of a hypocrite, really, because I always go on at you guys for not taking your turns. We've incidentally had another reshuffle in the league. Three or four people have gone, and three or four people have, have come in. So if you... Um, I, I, I do it sort of sporadically and uh, sporadically, sorry, and obviously at early hours of the morning as well because that's basically when I'm active on this game is between the hours of, say, midnight and 6 a.m. because that's just my working hours, pretty much. So, um, well, main, my main working hours anyway. So, I mean, if you guys are around at that time, feel free to sort of pop in a, a request or, I mean, try and get in a request wherever possible. But it's difficult for me to notify you because obviously I need to get these leagues started. I'm not awake during normal hours. So you guys are obviously sat there at 9, 10 a.m maybe even earlier than that on the way to school or something wanting to play a tournament game but I'm asleep so I need to start the tournament before that which is about three or four o'clock in the morning so that it's ready for you guys to do in the morning when you wake up uh, so it's it's difficult for me to work it around you guys so I try and do it that way so if you guys want in on this I said guys a lot I know I appreciate that if you want in on this you need to just basically have a, a look every now and again to see when the Sheep Conference is has a spot open and then you can just send a request in. And then obviously, as and when, you will eventually get in. We managed to get three tokens to go towards our Royce, which I won't update you with today because there's no point. We're not really any closer to it. We need another tournament win in order to get one more token to get, uh, I think, maybe six tokens from leagues or tournaments now, which is not that bad. I, did, I then did a... Um, Another live event in order to get another pack. It was a, a Heroes pack this time. Hoping for something like a Dortmund badge, which goes for a hell of a lot of coins. Unfortunately, we pull a Fenerbahce badge, which sold for about three to 4,000. Then I had a league game. I was pretty late to the party on this one. We're 7-0 down against Chelsea FC here. Corner whipped in in the 12th minute. We managed to score one. It was pretty difficult to break down this guy's defense, actually. Bender, the 82-rated player you saw me get the other day in the uh, special live event that FIFA Mobile held. Managed to make it 7-3. Uh, Bit of a lag spike there. 
here in the game, unfortunately. I think I had a notification pop through as I was doing it. And we claw it back to 7-4 at the end of the first half. Now, this team that I'm playing here is better than me in every aspect. His defense is rated 77, so it's a pretty good one. But it didn't deter me. I decided that I wasn't going to let it bother me, and I was going to go forth and score goals. And uh, we did. 45 minutes on the clock, it is 7-7. We were given one more opportunity. The corner is whipped in, and boom, shakalaka, baby. We managed to put the ball in the back of the net. Dragovic with the goal. We are through to the next round against the dude with the Man United badge, which I may or may not have... I've just remembered. I may may not have uh, missed that. I, I'm pretty sure I've got maybe an hour left. I'm going to have to do that straight away. We did a scouting live event then. Christ, I'm out of breath. We did a scouting live event in order to get a scouting token. I decided to go with a left foot... A wizard is what they're called. Because there is another one called Sibling, Sibling, Sibling Rivalry. There you go. Uh, which obviously you can get a brother. But left foot, you know, Messi's left foot. Di Maria's left foot. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's see what we're going to get. Boom. Wow. What a waste of time. Let's move on. So then I decided to do, for the to, to cap off this episode, I decided to do an inform pack. Now, to do the inform pack, you need to acquire 10 inform tokens from doing live events. I managed to do about 8 of the same live event to get 8 tokens. I think I already had 1 in my club anyway. So... It was a case of just scoring goals against the goalkeeper with a defense in front of them. Managed to get token after token after token. And I was one away, so I had to wait till the, this morning to do it. Finally got my last token that we can now drag over and claim our inform pack. This is a guaranteed inform. One player in the pack from this week's team of the week. Who are we going to get, baby? We need someone big. It is 85 rated elite Manolas. That is huge he is worth 240,000 coins the question I pose although he does look very sexy in my defense and now my defense has gone up to 70 77 rated bearing in mind as well I only use a three back so we only use three players there and all three of them are elite okay we use the goalkeeper we do need to improve that but we have an 85 Manolas 82 Bender and an 81 Astori in our defense that is pretty impressive to say the least the question though and I think I know the answer to this already. Do I sell Manolas for 240,000? Do I put Dragovic, who's 78 rated, back into the defence? And do I spend that 240 plus the 50 or so that I've already got myself on two brand new elite players that are around 83 rated? Now, the ones I'm looking at right now are probably going to be wingers so, or left mids. So there's, a, there's a, a game changer, Kevin De Bruyne, who's left mid. There's a few others there as well, like Iron Robin we could get for 120k and leave myself with about 130, 140k as well. So there's a, there's a lot we can do here. Do we sell Manolas to buy two elite players or do we keep Manolas in there and just keep building up our coins, trying to get the big name players and trying to fill our team with elites? Entirely up to you guys. Well, it's not entirely up to you guys. I do want your opinion, though. I do highly value your opinion. So let me know in the comment section down below what I should do. That's going to be it for this action-packed episode of FIFA Mobile. I will be back, let me think, tomorrow with another one. And until then, goodbye.